Hey, good morning guys. Welcome to my channel, Ocean Deep Fishing. I'm your host, Ed Frolish. And today, I got a little bit of um, information to pass along to you guys that have uh, boats and boat trailers and something that I've never came across before and it got stuck and uh, was kind of puzzled at what to do. But anyway, um, so Peggy and I the other day, and if you haven't watched the video, I'll link it down below in the description. We went out the other day out of Crystal River, had a great day, caught a lot of fish, and uh, we got home. Always, I pull up in the street, and then I back into, I have two garages, and I back the boat in between the garages. But when I went to back up, the wheels locked up on the trailer. So here I'm in the street, I can't back up, the wheels are locked in. I'm like, well, what the heck's going on? And I have surge brakes on the trailer, because I have a dual axle trailer, of uh, weight class you're supposed to have the brakes on us by law so anyway every time I went to back up the wheels are locking up I didn't know what was going on I thought maybe my calipers the brake pads had locked on the calipers and from put applying the brakes because the corrosion and everything but uh, long story short I did a little bit of investigation on YouTube the issue is one of two things and I'm still trying to find that out one is on your seven prong plug, when you plug it in, the center coil that's in the very center of the plug, so when you put the vehicle in a backup mode, your lights come on, it sends a electrical pulse to the solenoid that's on your trailer, on your boat trailer, and it eliminates and locks out the backup mechanisms so it doesn't put pressure on your brake so that you can back the truck up. So that's what I think is wrong with mine. Um, so I didn't know what to do. So a little bit of research on YouTube, <clears throat> I saw a temporary solution <clears throat> where there's a notch in your trailer. You have the cylinder and you have your hub that goes onto your ball of your hitch and they go in and out. So when the plunger goes in, it pushes a plunger which applies your brakes. And then when you go forward, it pulls back out and releases it. So on the side of the trailer which I'm going to show you in a minute there's a little there's a little gap in there that they make a key to put in there so in an emergency or when this particular thing happens you can lock it open so that when you back up your plunger only goes in so far and stops it doesn't go all the way and put your brakes on I didn't have one of those keys I've ordered one it's coming in Amazon and be here tomorrow but temporarily I saw a guy use a little socket and he put it in the hole wrapped a zip tie around it and tightened it up which didn't allow to compress the solenoid to put the brakes on and i was able to back it in all right let's go out to the trailer right here this is a slot and this part right here slides in and out and if you can see and right in there is a solenoid that's what applies your brakes what was happening is this is of course hooked up to your truck when you're backing up this thing was going in and it was putting on the brakes and I couldn't back up so this plug <clears throat> so this is your seven prong plug so the center piece which is right there the little golden piece over there that is your connection to your backup lights when you put your truck in reverse or car whatever you have this sends a signal back to your solenoid here which cuts it off from putting the brakes on so when this slides back it, your brakes won't go on and you're able to back the trailer up what I did is I looked on YouTube how to fix that problem so I saw one guy he used a socket just like that so what I did is I just put that in there like that <clears throat> I just put the zip tie right there to hold that and that was my temporary fix so when I backed the trailer up it wouldn't let that go in and I was able to park the boat you can see that slot they make a key that fits in there and I've ordered it it's coming today but it isn't here yet and I'll take a picture of it to put at the end of this video and you just put the key in there back it up so you don't have to use this here but like I said in a pinch it worked fine I was able to back it up I went and bought <coughs> the CRC electrical cleaner and you can see it's for plugs 
So what we're going to do is we're going to take that, we are going to spray that in here, to try to clean those terminals. And I'm also going to do the truck vehicle where that goes into. And you can see that it's possibly a little dirty. So we're going to clean it up. We're going to hook it up and we're going to see if that, we're going to see if that fixed the problem. And then if that didn't fix the problem, the only other thing is the solenoid might be bad. I'll have to get a test and test that, see if that's not working properly. And I'll have to replace that if this doesn't work, but we're going to try to do the easy fix first. This is supposed to be fast drying. Okay, we just got to let that dry completely and then we can go ahead and try to um, hook it up and see if that works. Okay guys, so clean the terminals, clean that. It still didn't work. I don't know if you saw that move, but it still locked the brakes up. So I'm gonna have to put this on it in order to keep it <clears throat> from locking up. So now I can back my trailer up and then I gotta figure out from here what's going on. guys a little frustrated uh, I was hoping this was going to be a quick fix uh, with the spray cleaning the terminals and and that sort of stuff but um, didn't work so now I'm gonna have to find a electrical tester so that I can test the voltage coming through to make sure that uh, we're getting that we're getting some voltage into the back truck plug and then as well as to the solenoid and then possibly the solenoid is um, bad so I got to check those things out, but anyway, this is informative to you. Hopefully in case you get stuck, you have a, a way emergency way to um, back your trailer up in case you get stuck like I did. And then there'll be a part two update on this video. Whenever I figure that out, I'll let you know what it was and how I fixed it. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please subscribe, ring that notification bell and a thumbs up would be most appreciative and we are pushing up to a thousand subscribers we're not far away so if you can help us out by sharing this video giving us a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and you like our content it'd be so great if you would do that for us and appreciate it so until the next one thank you for watching tight lines god bless and we'll see you on the next one i just got my um lockout key from amazon i wanted to show it to you we're going to take it out of the package. I'm going to just show you how it fits in there. Let's see. You can see it's got the shape of the hole that you put it in there. And then it's got a little hole. And it's got a little hole right there. You can put a wire on and attach it to your trailer so it's always there. Um, me, I'm just going to put it in my glove box. So, as you can see, it just fits right in there. And then you can just use this to hold it in there. Okay, well, I just wanted to show you too that I'll have that link in the description below in this video. If you want to go on there, um, it'll click on there. <clears throat>
you can click on it, it'll take you to Amazon and you can purchase that if you want to. And also just to let you guys know, I'm an affiliate with Amazon. So anything in the description below of any equipment that I use, if you click on it, it doesn't cost you a penny more than if you would go buy it on your own on Amazon. But the manufacturer gives me a small little cut uh, for you purchasing it. And it helps our channel out, buy gas and tolls and all the other stuff uh, that it takes to make these videos and go out fishing. So appreciate your help. Until we see you next time, tight lines, everybody. God bless. See you on the next one.